Hey, welcome back to Pete Plays. Here we are playing Chained Echoes. We're in the sewers. I am so unbelievably tired, so I thought I would wake up and make the first thing I do talk to an internet audience of strangers. So, I kind of need to figure out which way to go here, huh? Oh, that's a wall. Okay, we'll go here. Oh, he jumped! Oh! Ow! Okay. Well... Lowest targets defense. Let's try to break this sewer diver here. Yar. And Bow! Um I guess we'll try to attack to get into overdrive. We're not there yet, but now we are. Ah ha ha. Hey, why is everybody attacking Glenn? He's just a sweet boy. Oh man. All right. Yoko girl! Yes, get rid of that! Let's go. Zap, zip, zow! Excellent. Ouch. Um. Bow. Okay. Lost bottle of water. Ow. Needs to be activated by other skills. But I did it one time, though. Oh, maybe it needs to be at all. Oh. Give me that cross slash, baby. Oh, I gotta be careful. Oh, man. Yeah, let's do Yoko Girl again. Let's take him out. Bam! I'm Yoko Girl! Pedal Storm active! Alright. Cool. New skills. It's probably just the, my skills for my good, good boys. Yeah. Oh, but you know what? They have... Star Time. Leg Aim. Lowers target's agility... Grant's buff that generates TP with every hit for five turns. Ooh. Kind of love that. Yo. Yeah. Okay, my other stuff. Enemies take one turn longer to apply this ailment for the first time. Ooh, that's cool. Good. 5%. It's 1 out of 20. But I bet the more you level it up... Yeah, let's try that. The more you level it up, the the higher the... Inflicts oil for two turns. Do I have anybody that does fire? I don't think I have anybody that uses fire right now. So probably... Ooh! HP up. Um, let's go HP up because he seems to be a little bit of a squishy boy. Okay. Great. Got all of those. What's down here? Ooh, oh, oh, well. Hello. Come back. I want to get on. Well, goodbye, friends. They've probably come with me. Oh, yep, they're right there. Ooh, coconut. Can I go through here? No? Okay.
What's down here? Just that. Antidote. Excellent. And uh, this here fine fellow hiding in the sewers. Some sort of merchant? Uh, the people here? Uh, what am I doing here? Well, no, but I just don't ask any questions and you don't either. Take a look at my wares. Okay. I've got ten snacks. I do. I want. I need some sweets. Nope. Panacea cures inact. I guess I'll get one of those. Lozenge. Mm, probably want one of those. Okay. I wanna buy. Oh wait, I can sell things too. A shark-shaped hammer. Interesting. Usually not a weapon for fighting on foot. Huh. Huh. These are all my... Oh. I do have just a nice plain shirt. Let's sell that. Loot! But since you know where it's from, you would rather sell it. Okay. Are these just for selling? I don't think so. What? <laughs> That's weird. I mean, I guess I'll do that. I don't I kind of don't know if those are like things that I should be hanging on to or not. You know, uh oh. Ooh, okay. Let's... Bow! Let's get ourselves into overdrive if we can. Bank! Hmm. Lost cat of spinach. But, oh, he healed everybody. Well, there goes most of that damage. Yes, now we're in overdrive. Break sewer diver. Bya! Yoko Girl. I love this move. It looks cool. It triggers Petal Storm sometimes. Petal Storm active! <gasps> yes, I can use Petal Storm now. That makes me happy. Um Yeah, yeah. Whoa! Ow! Oh, you're gonna get it. Counter agility buff. Excellent. You know what? I'm going to defend and just chill out. And now we're going to use Petal Storm, baby. Ah! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Um, that ruled. Um, let's go wide swing because it might get these guys. Yes! Awesome! I really dig battle. It's just, it's cool. It's cool and fun. Oh. There's no turning back for a while if you continue. Okay. So I think that's just a nice little way of the game. Uh oh. Letting me know. Hey, you got some stuff that you can still do. Yeah. You take that. Overdrive time, baby. Zah! Uh, okay, we didn't get Petal Storm active, but that's okay. Oh, it's going to take me out of overdrive, though. Oh, but I'll get back into it. When I take damage. 
There we go. Cool. That's a good little move there. Oh, take that! Hmm. Steals an item from a target with an 80% chance. Let's try it. Got some tin ore. All right, well, that happens. Hey, ow, he hit me with a... Some sort of stick. It looks like one of those... Looks like one of those little grabbers that um, elderly folks uh, sometimes use um, when they have, like, mobility issues or their, their hands don't work well. Um... Get rid of that, loser. Why didn't I get... Ooh, I got some iron ore. Uh, eat it, loser. Man, that is so cool. Uh, I didn't get him. I'm overheated, but the battle is over. Huzzah. Sturdy Akaton. Ak 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 I don't know. Who wants to wear the sturdy Akaton? Ooh. Oh, you know what? I don't have anything that she can wear. Other than what she is currently wearing. Okay, pretty sure I've hit up everything. Right? Yeah, I went up there. We're good. Okay. Let us continue. We have fought our way through the sewers. Just like in Chrono Trigger. A dead end. According to my map, the exit should be at the end of this waterway. But how do we get there? The current is going in that direction. We could use this wooden plank down there. Oh dear. This is going to be fun. Seems like it's working. Now, isn't this romantic? Oh, please, stop. It's already hard enough not to vomit from all the smell. Oh, what is this? Good Looks like we have company. Yo, yes! Yes! The Kraken again? What's wrong with this thing? Did it wait for us to get into the water? Whatever it is, it's not going to leave us alone this time. Engage! Let's go! Let's go... Oh, interesting. Magical, physical, healing tentacle. So we want to go for the healing tentacle first. Yes! Listen to this music! This whips! This is so good! Okay, let's get us into overdrive first. Yes! Yes! Okay. Yoko Town! Wow! Yes! Let's go! Pedal Storm active! Okay. Um. Let's cross slash here. We're doing okay on overdrive. Ouch! Oh man! Let's heal Sienna, because she is already. Petal Storm on the Healing Tentacle. That'll do a lot of damage. Yes. Okay. Ow. Um. If I want anybody to defend, it'd be Glenn. Ah! Healed itself. Yeah. Let's try that. Oh, this is already not going super well. Yeah! Okay. Really gotta focus on that healing tentacle. Ah, man. Okay. Oh, I've got my ultra move, though. What are my ultra moves here? Deals physical damage to all enemies and reduces attack, match, defense in mind. Let's go? I am Glenn! I will build a robot! Pew, 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 pew. Nice. Okay.
Let's recall my training so that I can be stronger and better. Yeah. Nice. That's big. Hang in there, Glenn. Oof. Okay, we're doing okay. Ah, oh, we have overheated. Okay. Let's see if we can get... Ah, I thought we could get it. Bonk. Get out of here, healing tentacle. Seize the fallen tentacle. Tentacle rage! Hit all. Oh. Huh. What do we do here? If I use an item, I just stay put, I think. Let's give Killian some tech uh, points here. Bop, 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 bop. Ah, nothing to steal. Rats. Glenn, be healed! Ow! Uh oh. Okay, that wasn't terrible. Here we go. Back down into the middle of overdrive. Um, yeah, let's use Yoko Girl here, and then maybe we can get Petal Storm back. Nope, okay. Um, Bronk! Um, I think Glenn will be... Oh, we got rid of the magic tentacle. Yes, okay. And now we can magic break and get back down. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, hang in there, bud. Let's just do a normal attack. That won't raise me quite as much. Stink. It's going to overheat me. Let's defend... Armor break. It should be close. Ah! Oh, it did fall. What? Oh, it didn't fall. Bank! Ah, come on. Yes! Let's go. Ooh! Ow! My arms! My fingies! No! Y'all, I love this game. I I am obsessed with this game. I'm so... <laughs> I really, really like it. That was intense. Now let's get out of here. I I'm I got so into this that it immediately woke me up. And also, I forgot to say, I got my Octopath Traveler 2 box yesterday. So stoked to play that. I'm going to play it in a few days because uh, I have uh, a flight. And so I'm going to have like eight hours on planes and in airports to just launch straight into that. I'm so excited that I get to go from like zero to a lot really fast that I don't have to, which means I have to wait a few days, uh, which is sad because I'm currently like on deadline for my dissertation. Uh, but when I finally get done with that and then hop on this plane, ooh, it's going to be so good. Finally, the open sky. Where are we? Also, I love his little turtleneck. I love the character drawings. I I adore it. It's so cool. It's so cool. According to the map, this is the southeastern courtyard. The treasure chamber is in the south. I guess it's this a bit. Well, remember your, remember your courtesies, Glenn. You must speak with diction. <laughs> I guess this is where we part ways. I'm sorry I was so suspicious earlier. Well, it's a wise attitude to have. You shouldn't drop it. I'm kind of foresee. Uh oh. A fire? I was trying to channel um, lust from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood for Sienna. Um, but now there's a fire. Oh, great. The rumors have come true. The rumor come out! The town folks actually started a riot. 
A riot? Against what? They don't want Ascania's Chancellor to trust Terran. Rumor has it that Prince Frederick of Terran only inst 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 instigated the peace treaty in order to recover from the damage caused by the Grimoire. Once Terran regained its strength, the war will continue. Grimoire? We should hurry. May the light of fate guide your path. Uh, whatever. I wish you the same, I guess. <laughs> this is a uh, bad. Oh, we're back to S Nice Man. My hands won't stop shaking. Both amulets are glowing. Has the time finally come, Master? Sir Victor! It's me, Hat Man! <laughs> what a true joy to see you here. Everyone, please come and welcome our guest of honor, Sir Victor of Arcadia the creative mind behind all of our favorite theater plays. Now we want to know at last, Sir Victor. What is the secret behind your stories? Are they based on true events? Have you experienced them yourself? Oh, my dear Rosamond, the lack of knowledge about this gives a story extra flavor. Any answer to your question would only disappoint you in the end, so please allow me to give you no answer. Of course he made them up. Huh? Sir Victor has written dozens of stories and plays. How could he have experienced them all within a lifespan, my lady? But isn't Sir Victor an AR? Or possibly an AR? <laughs> I did not know that. This is the first time I'm meeting one. I'm not surprised. We are a very rare breed, Lady Rosamond. Besides, we look identical to humans. So how old are you, if you allow me the question? Hmm, this is difficult to say, but when the University of Nisa was still standing here in Volandis, I was well alive and breathing. That was 500 years ago. For heaven's sake, you've experienced the legendary city of Nisa in its golden age! Oh, Carl, it's a part of the golden age! Oh. He even studied there! My goodness, you're able to wield a magic! See, <laughs> this is another... This is another joke I've, I don't want to say stolen. I've borrowed from friend of the show, Patrick, a babbling incoherent British woman. Uh, and Rosamond has pretty swiftly devolved into that. My goodness. My magic is a bit rusty, but yes, I was born in a time when the magical potential of all races was much further developed. How exciting. The, the princess here is not the only one who's had to win magic. That sounds like the kind of thing you weren't supposed to just blurt out. Oh, forgive my foolish mouth. Your situation is different, of course. Oh, I'm peeking out real bad. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, Sir Victor. Please excuse me. Sir Victor, you are needed. Understood, my good headline. Princess, ladies and gentlemen, please excuse me. Oh, boy. Was that all right? Perfect timeline. A little break is exactly what I needed now. As discussed by your hand signal, you were literally bombarded with questions. Oh, true. Although I much prefer being the listener. If you allow me the remark, I could not do all this. I imagine these diplomatic talks must be exhausting. Also, for Heinlein, I'm channeling um, Mr. Graham from The Last Samurai. Oh, capital! You get used to it. Such events only serve the purpose to present oneself and make a good impression. I, you know what? If Jeremy Irons were blonde, who's like a blonde Jeremy Irons for Victor? I don't know. Oh, you know what? It didn't used to be Kenneth Branagh, but now that Kenneth Branagh is a little bit older, maybe Kenneth Branagh. He, he'd be a little bit less gruff and guttural and a little bit more um he has that sort of british Ooh, or you know what um oh what's it colin firth but with a beard bearded colin firth don't try to argue and just repeat what they say and all is well ah see it doesn't quite fit i feel like he does have that sort of like gravitas you know we'll keep thinking of it we'll cast this as we go 
I want to look up this, uh, sorry for the break, but I want to look up the name of the actor who plays Mr. Graham in The Last Samurai because he's uh, somewhat, I don't want to say famous, but um, Timothy Spall. Um, he's not like famous, but he's he's a British character actor and uh, I feel like he's been in a couple other things. Let's see what else. IMDb. Timothy Spall. Timothy Spall. Hello. My favorite part in um, the uh, the Last Samurai, I think, of the like interesting parts and not like the moving parts, is when they have to break into the compound and they have to make something up. And like Tom Cruise's character is just walking, and uh, Mr. Graham is speaking Japanese to the guard, and he's like, "How dare you? Don't you know this is the president of the United States?" <laughs> and they let him in. And uh, as they walk in, Tom Cruise is like, the president of the United States? And he's like, <laughs> um, Timothy Spall. What else has he been in? I feel like he's been in so many things. And he's been a bad guy before, but also he's like a pretty good um, like companion, sort of like sidekick character, but very British. He's in a lot of British stuff. Um, a lot of British TV shows. Alice Through the Looking Glass. He did some voice acting. I know he's been in something else. Oh, he played Wormtail in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. That's why. That's why we know him. Um... I, I must say, oh, he was Beetle and Sweeney Todd, too. Um, I must say, I don't really know who Wormtail is. Who's... Okay, last one, I promise. I know this is super boring. Wormtail, Harry Potter. Is, is Wormtail, like, a bad guy? He's the main antagonist of Prisoner of Azkaban, the secondary antagonist in Goblet of Fire. Oh, Wormtail is Peter Pettigrew. Okay. I don't remember enough about Harry Potter to remember why that's important. Um, anyway, back to this. Sorry. <laughs> that's easy for you to say. <laughs> she, she, she. I don't understand she, she. We'll look that up later. Shall I show you how to behave in such circles? I am most curious, Victor. What? Oh. Interesting. It seems like Sir Victor, like, has skills and stuff but he I haven't gotten a chance to use him yet because he's in these like um story auxiliary something I don't know raises his mind I wish I need to figure out what mind to counter single target physical attack by carrying a random ailment on self um Let's go mind up. Let's talk to people now. While now early in the West, he's been caught in a civil war for the past few decades. Antreich's pacifistic king in the East does not come down from his mountains. These are the reasons why Philanders has been spared an invasion from beyond its borders so far. But things could change at any moment. Only a united Philanders stands a chance. Thanks to Prince Frederick of Terran, we have that now. Oh, interesting. You there, Goatman! Everything is going according to plan. Oh, this is a little bit Christopher Lee. Uh, no, not Christopher Lee. Um, Gandalf. Oh, man, I can't... Everything is going according to plan. Good, <laughs> very good. Nothing must go wrong. Interesting. Lord Sigurd is pretty nervous, but that's to be expected. <laughs> After such a long war, he is going to be very fragile. I could not imagine the repercussions if something bad were to have near the banquet. I would love to see um, Helena Bonham Carter as Rosamond. <laughs> um, oh, what about this beautiful hat woman? Beautiful hat woman, I desire to speak with you. 
I was thinking about the church. People everywhere on Eldria find this new monotheistic faith great. It promises a modern attitude to life and advertises various gadgets that are supposed to make life better. But to be honest, this church reminds me more of a business than a religious community. I'll stick with the old gods. Um, that's, uh... What's, uh, Janelle Monet? That's who I want that to be. That's Sir Raphael over there. As a High Inquisitor, he is never allowed to take off his helmet in public. I wonder how he's going to eat all his food. Um... Maybe that, uh... Maybe the guy who played Biggie in the Biggie biopic. I can't remember his name, but I, I like him. I But I wouldn't want to waste such a cool actor on, like, such a bit part here. I don't know. Anyway. I don't need to cast all of the NPCs. <laughs> so the north is Terran and its capital, Tormund. Years ago, the king fell seriously ill, and since the young Prince Frederick has been ruling. In the northeast lies Gravos, the capital of Vernshire, and it's ruled by Lady Parnella. But since the annexation a year ago, she is now nothing more than a puppet of Terran. And here in the south, uh, we here in the south are in Farnsport, the capital of Escania. I'm explaining this to you because you must not know. Princess Am Amalia is too young to rule, so Chancellor Sigurd takes over all her responsibilities. Hmm. I'll talk to uh, this guy. Uh, oh, this is Christopher Lee for sure. Oh, Sir Victor, I'm delighted. I can hardly wait to inaugurate the new cathedral. It is an honor to welcome you and so many other distinguished guests. Zacchaeus! You all remember the song about Zacchaeus from Bible school? Um, it goes as Zacchaeus was a wee little man and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. Uh, basically, it, it, Jesus comes by and he says, Zacchaeus, come down from there. I'm going to your house today. And it's kind of like, why is that song got to flex on Zacchaeus so hard? The, the point of the story is Zacchaeus was someone who, he was a tax collector, so he was despised by everyone. Um, and he couldn't see Jesus over the crowd, so he debased himself by climbing a tree to try to see the Lord. And... The, uh, Jesus says to him, basically, like, I'm coming to your house to bless you because you've demonstrated faith, even though you're a tax collector and everyone despises you. So the fact that that song just, like, dunks on him for being short, it feels like it kind of misses the point. <laughs> as far as I know, Prince Frederick of Taran has fallen ill. Nothing serious, but he couldn't possibly make the long journey. Here's the one who proposed the peace treaty so no one takes offense by it. Oh, interesting. The princess has never left Farnsport. You can see a ton of faith out excited she has to see so many new people. I think that's just about everybody. Have you heard? Princess Amalia of Escania is said to be able to wield magic. Oh. I could go... Oh. I think I'm going to chill here for a minute and go ahead and do a nice safe to save, which is nice. Hey, I'm having an unbelievable amount of fun playing this game. And honestly, I wish I could go to six days a week for this game right now. I can't right now just because I'm, I'm busy and I, I need to keep my normal schedule. But man, uh, I have a suspicion that this is going to be a pretty long running game. Um, it feels like there's a lot to this game. Um, so I'm I'm anticipating 50 episodes, uh, which I don't think anybody has a problem with. I hope not, because uh, this rules. Um, so yeah, we will see you next time on Pete Plays on Monday. And I hope you're ready for more Chained Echoes, because I am. We'll see you then. Bye.